Hello people. Uh, this video I will explain my feelings uh, for Case Mega Man and what you should expect from the show in the future. Case Mega Man was the sole reason I started uploading videos to YouTube. It was something that I wanted to do and I wanted to showcase to everyone that I can do all of the stages, no miss. I saw Raw Material do the uh, no damage runs and I was thinking to myself, uh, I can beat that. And that's how Case Mega Man was born. Case Mega Man doesn't showcase the true me. It never has. When I sit down to record Case Mega Man, it's a lot like uh, flipping a switch. I flip a switch in my brain and I tell myself, okay, now it's time to be funny. It's time to make dumb jokes. And if you can't do it, there is no video to be made. Lately, when I have been trying to do the next episode, I can't do that anymore. I can't flip the switch. And that's because I'm using all of my energy in Snapster. All of my jokes. All of the interaction uh, that I do on Snapster takes away from Case Mega Man. And trying to record Case Mega Man has become a chore. It's not fun anymore. Now, I'm not stopping Case Mega Man. I'm reimagining it. Because I need to step away from that uh, switch flip. I cannot keep it up anymore. If that was the reason why you subscribed, you wanted to see the funny, humorous, chokeful Case Mega Man series, and you didn't care so much about the actual footage, then I would encourage you to unsubscribe. There is nothing for you here anymore. That said, I will not stop making Case Mega Man happen. I will keep doing it. But it will not run the same. I have used every joke, every humorous aspect I can find, I've done it. I am now unable to record more with the same old style. I've run into a dead end with it. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I just need to change the way the show works. I will still be doing the same kind of deal with it. The same kind of intros, outros, outtakes. But I will take more of a serious time with it. I will still crack up jokes if they just come to me. But I will not try to uh, make them happen from thin air. Because I found that on the la uh, latest episodes of Case Mega Man, I'm really trying hard to make witty comments, funny comments, fun humor and jokes. And if I can't do that, there is nothing for me to record. I can't do an episode if I'm not funny, because that's one aspect that the show is based on. And if I can't deliver that, then there is no episode. That's also one reason why the uploads of Case Mega Man are so scarce. You've probably seen that it sometimes takes me a few months to upload a new Case Mega Man episode, and sometimes I can do three a week. Uh, it completely depends on how I feel. It has to do with my mental state at that point. Some weeks are better, some are worse, and you'll see it on the show. That is also why I can't do the show like I did it before. I can't do it anymore. So if that is something you're gonna miss, then unsubscribe. But if you welcome the new uh, approach, keep watching the show. It's not going anywhere. Uh, if anything, this allows me to upload more frequently, because I don't have to try and be funny. Because I've scrapped perfect runs if there was nothing fun in it. I've done that. So I have actually re-ran the stage again. And the other thing is that the way you see me in Case Mega Man is not the true me. Like I said, I flip a switch to be funny. And what I realized with uh, the evaluation series is that 
I'm much more relaxed and I'm having much more fun when I'm being myself. And even the views tell you something. I get a lot more views on the, on the evaluation series than my Case Mega Man uh, episodes. I'm lucky if I get 200 hits on a single Case Mega Man episode. That's, con that's, that's pretty good. But the moment I started doing evaluation videos, I can get 300, 500, even 900 uh, views. Uh, basically, we just showcasing my knowledge. Uh, minimal editing. Just talking on top of me playing and giving criticism is giving me more views than something that takes actual skill, takes a lot of time to perfect. It takes a long time to perfect and no miss a boss, to edit the footage, to find the outtakes, and then something like the evaluation series, I'll just make it and get more views, and I'm done with it, and I'm happy with it. Uh, this is the other reason why Case Mega Man has, I think, run its course as the show is now. So I definitely need to make some changes to that. I also put everything I have on Snapster, and it was killing my channel. I still value Snapster a lot more than my own channel. But thankfully the evaluation series kind of brought back my love for my own channel, so I started doing more videos again. And that is the other reason why I need to rematch in case Mega Man as well. I can't keep doing it like I'm doing it right now. And I tell you this again, Case Mega Man is not going anywhere. I will still keep doing it, just in a different way. And I think partly Candy Bars was right. He asked me, why didn't I stop when the grid was empty? Uh, why, why did I have to start another season of Case Mega Man? What else do I have that I need to prove to other people? And that's a good point. But you have to realize that that was all I had. Case Mega Man, before the evaluation series, was all I had. That was my whole channel. That is why I started season 2. And I don't regret it. I still want to do it. I just don't want to do it like this. I'm under a lot of stress with Snapster and with uh, my own channel. There is... There are people who are waiting for new Snapster videos weekly. And... To do something like Case Mega Man at the same time kind of brings you down, because it's so time consuming. If you're gonna do No Miss Perfects on stages, you're gonna lose a lot of your free time, and all of the Snapsters know that. It's a very time consuming process. So if I even go and scrap footage I'm not happy about because I didn't make enough jokes, then there is a fucking problem. And that's why I'm changing the show. I hope you guys understand and you still keep loyal to me and you'll still stay on my channel. If anything, this is the beginning of the new channel. And if you're unhappy about this, the button is down below. I urge you to hit it and leave. But if you believe that you'll still enjoy Case Mega Man, you can just stay. You can even watch the couple of first episodes that I make of it, and see for yourself if you like it or not. I'm not gonna copy anyone else's style. I'm gonna try to do something different. After all, I did create Case Mega Man in the first place. A lot of people wanted to do the same thing, in their own style. And now after seven years, imagine that, seven years, and I get 200 views a pop. People just don't care about this challenge. That's the hard cold truth. There's very there's a very niche audience for this kind of thing. But with the evaluation series, I can hopefully bring more people to watch my Case Mega Man uh, series as well. So it's kind of double-sided. What you also have to understand that watch time on my evaluation series is about 50% of the video. That's when people click and leave. But on my Case Mega Man, it's 10%. 10%. So pretty much in the first one to two minutes people leave. That is also why I need to figure something out. 
It might take a while until the next case Mega Man goes live. Because I need to figure out how I want to do this. But in the meantime, enjoy the evaluation series. But I'm sure you'll enjoy the outcome. It's gonna benefit us all. Thanks for tuning in.